we will take a look at natural join operator. Natural join operator is denoted let's see natural join operator. It's denoted by this symbol, okay? It's like two triangles coming together at their edges, at their vertices, okay? Natural join operator. What natural join operator does is, it only relates those rows of different table, okay? Which have common attribute value. or rather which have the same attribute value for the common attribute, okay? So what is the common attribute over here? We have the department name which is the common attribute between between what? Between the employee table and the department table, okay? So it's gonna relate only those rows which have the same value for the department name attribute. So let's see what is the result of join operator on employee and department. So, the number of columns in a natural join operator result is all the columns which are in the union of let's say column of employee, union, column of department. These are the columns that we have in the result of a natural join operator relation. So, how many columns we would have? We would have name, okay, we would have employee ID, we would have department name and we would have manager. Just understand we have only four columns here as against five columns in a cross product. Okay? So we will just create the table. My table has name it has employee ID, it has department name and it has manager. So and how does it relate? We will see finance, finance, same value. So this would be in the natural join operator result. Finance marketing, not same. So this is discarded. Marketing finance, not same, discarded. This is same and this is same. So our values would be Jim, Joanne and Tim. We would have Jim, Joanne and Tim. Employee ID of Jim is one, two, three and the manager is Rob. One, two, three, finance, 
manager is wrong okay what about 10 6 7 8 6 7 8 finance manager is wrong and what about Juan? 254 manager is shown 254 department is marketing and manager is shown so this is the table I get when I do a natural join okay so you can see the results that I have in this table are quite meaningful every tuple has the name of the employee his department and the manager of that department right now let's suppose we want to find out we want to find out where are we exactly yeah I want to find out the name and the manager's name okay manager's name for all the employees so how would I do that it's very simple I would simply say project name comma manager name from from the natural join of employee and department okay that's a one way to do it let's suppose we don't have natural join then what are we going to do we would do it in this manner we would say project name comma manager name select okay from employee cross department right we will use the cross product now in the cross product we will say the condition is employee dot department name is equal to department dot department name so effectively this gives me a natural join right employees department name is equal to the department's department name so what are the tuples that we are going to get we are going to get this tuple we are going to get this tuple and we are going to get this tuple and from this we project the name and the name of the manager okay now let's take a look at this table we have the employee table we have the department table I've just added two more entries one each in this table I've added Pete with employee ID 256 department name operations and I've added a new manager who is the manager of Jackie sorry Jackie who is the manager of research okay and this is my employee natural join department okay so what values do I have here I have Tim I have Joan and I have Jim okay we are taking natural join right so finance to finance marketing to marketing and finance to finance just realize here the information regarding the peat tuple is lost in this natural join okay so if I make the above query where I need to find all the names and the names of the manager in which a particular employee works say I execute this query 
okay then i won't get the information regarding teeth despite the fact that i myself had stated that i wanted the information regarding all the employees so what do i do in this case in this case we use a concept called 